Many religions require women to cover their hair to preserve their modesty. Orthodox Jewish women have found a way to adhere to their faith without compromising their appearance. They wear wigs. For over 500 years it's been acceptable for married women to wear wigs, as long as it's obvious it's not their real hair. Honestly, I miss my hair terrible because I had long, blonde, beautiful hair. Um, I still look for that wig that would look like my hair. But now it's getting harder to tell the difference between the real hair and the beautiful locks covering it, especially since wigs made of human hair are the most popular. That can cause confusion. If you wear a wig and it looks closely like your hair, people don't know that you're married and they could put it. Like you're not supposed to, but <laughs> it happens here. Traditionally, women should be attractive for their husbands only. This has caused many to say that wigs are defeating their purpose. Instead of making women more modest, the wigs are making them more attractive. Um, yes, some of them are more attractive, but there are women who are more attractive too, and their clothing are also more attractive than some women. This local blood drive is offering a designer shadow, which means wig in Yiddish, as one of its prizes. Some designer wigs can be modeled after celebrities. The website for this Boer Park retailer has wigs inspired by Hannah Montana and Sarah Palin. Hairdressers at this salon say that while there are many styles options, most women keep it simple. This place around this area, they're used to one style. So we already know it. They get side bangs, layers, shoulder length. That's a normal thing. With all this talk about wigs, we wanted to know how wearing one would feel. So co-producer Amy Yancey decided to pick a look and give it a spin. Within minutes, her head was covered under some pricey strands of human hair. The price tag is $1,100. And even at $1,100, this is one of the least expensive wigs available. There are some hair that is very pretty, that is not the high quality. Other that it's 100% European hair, that one is very good, and that one costs $1,600, $2,200. But some women say the wigs are worth the money. I can never have that. I can never have a bad hair day because if I do, I blame it on the wig. <laughs> For the New York City News Service, this is Donna Rappaport.